Welcome to Riverbend Town on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. Also brought to you by Mr. Matt Van Voorst, who wants to remind you that uh, this weekend is the benefit for Dave Zimmerman, our, ga- our guest last week, and uh, a friend of Matt Van Voorst, who he uh, turned all his uh, advertising into his friends. He actually is uh, with Macias Insurance, but he wants us to tell everybody about Zimmerman. his buddies about about david zimmerman specifically yeah this week yeah i talked to him yesterday yeah and that that uh is that that's this weekend that's in bunker hill saturday saturday night at there the you legion go. with bubbles <laughs> i was drinking down at the legion yeah. all right all right and uh yeah i'm looking forward yeah. to it myself so so there you go big thanks to uh Mr. Van Voorst for sponsoring the show, and uh, everybody get out to the Zimmerman Benefit in Bunker Hill. Check out City Heat, Check CPRT, out City Borderline, go. the Jupiter Kings. I believe that's Jay Light. Yeah. Doppelganger, Where's Dave? Jake where and Eric. Is, where is Dave? Gabby. Dave's not here. Back, <laughs> backyard Blues Band. Yeah. Remember Eddie? Special Ed? Special Ed. And Whiskey River. That's Kenny McPhee. All right. And right it, it, it. it's for a great cause and for a great guy. Uh, so can, you, can you pronounce it? Can I pronounce what? What, what, the, what, the, what the benefit's for? That word. I, frontal. Frontal lobal. Yeah. FTD. We'll just shorten it to that. Yeah, frontal lobal. You ever hear of Bruce Testicular Willis? Testicular disease. No, I, I'm not. not yeah, Bruce I've Willis. Heard of Bruce that Willis. Guy. I've yeah. heard of him. That's what he's got. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. It's like I say, good, good, uh, good entertainment, good guy, and a good cause there. So, everybody get out there. Uh, also, big thanks to Halfin Music for sponsoring us. Let's yep. not forget them. I don't. There you go. Lydia says it every time, and then oh, I yeah. say Matt there Van you Morris. Go. I've, I've, you don't listen to the show, so I, you don't yeah, know that. I don't know what's happening with you. Lydia. Do know the Sea Shanty Sing Alongs ha- happening right now? Started two minutes ago, and they're already drunk on Irish whiskey. That's mm-hmm. how ha- that's how quick it happens. At least in my mind. And if you want, jump on 55 or 255 and check out 1055. <laughs> that must be down at Fast Eddie's a boner. You got that right. Open mic later at Raging Cajun. Nick Sturgis up in Jerseyville at George's Local Brew. Jim Messina. Heard of that guy? Uh, let's see. He played with Buffalo Springfield. Did some time with Polka. Played with Mr. Loggins, I think. Messina Loggins. Was Messina. he in the band Buffalo Springfield? Or he did act- he just play with them. No, he, he was actually in Buffalo Springfield. He was one of the just members. Check yeah. See if you like that joke. I did. Well, I, I was. I, you know, <laughs> it was a Canadian uh, uh, joke. Right. Yeah, it was a Canadian joke. It was a joke. Canadian joke. Okay? That was for all the Canadians. Uh, so yeah, Jim Messina. There you go, man. The uh, uh, great. Come on, give me player. a song. Give you a song? Yeah, Jim Messina. Your mama don't dance and your daddy don't rock and roll. That's right, he's (laughs) singing now. That was the cheesiest one I could think of, to be honest, right off the bat. He's been involved in in some great songwriting. And and that's not a bad song. It's just not quite as good as Danny's song or, you know. Around the corner at Big Daddy's Tonight, Spencer McDowell. Until 9 o'clock, Eric Lyslot down at... uh, Doids Village Inn in Pontoon Beach from 7 to 11. Frankie and the House Shakers underway at Patrick's in Granite City. It's already happening, until man. Until 9 o'clock. Experience Live Music Row underway down in Belleville. And Mike Judy is presenting Knuckle Puck <laughs> with Real Friends, Bearings, I guess that's it. Knuckle Puck. 24 39 50 for that one. Look at that. You 20, put a 50. I, know, 20, I knew you'd love it. The 39 50. I'm going to take the 39 50 seat just yeah, to see what VIP. I get. Oh, man. Thir- yeah. t- t- 39. That's, that's probably up on the balcony at Red Flag. Hey, there you go. I, I don't it, think I'd want to sit up there. It's probably good because that's the only place there's chairs. But well, the, the other thing is the knuckle puck. It seems they like throw, this, they throw stuff at the crowd, and you don't want to get hit with what they're throwing. Man. It seems like in that room you got to find the right place for sound to hear yeah. right that's just my experience yeah well i'm glad though that they support original local music which there is you awesome. go there you go so that is the the rundown on the sunday evening around our uh that's thursday community. but you just said sunday oh, did i say sunday you just, uh, i don't know traveled what day. through time i don't know what day it is i don't know what city i'm in i have no idea what's going on that's right my now. partner loki also here tonight <laughs> we have Hey, Alex got that joke. Did you get that joke, or were you laughing oh, at? Oh, you guys are, you guys are hanging out over there, not paying attention, huh? 
<laughs> Busted, just like in school. <laughs> they got their own thing yeah. going on. They got funny stuff happening over on that side. Got a, got a call from one of our friends. I think he's trying to play some video games right now. Tell him to call us, 618-465-1570, we'll and answer, ask a question. We'll answer all his questions. Seriously, text him. Tell him to call. Fortnite call. waiting for us at home. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah, Fortnite fun. waiting for us at home. Oh, boy. What's the name? 618-465-1570. Anybody wants to ask, uh, what was you guys accidentally on, on Porpoise? So so the, the dissident voices to anyone out in radio The land Porpoise is, Riders. 465-1570. And so, so thank you. All right. the, we've said that number I, more times than ever now. I, 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 That's like how we're probably five times in a minute. I, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna, all right. Let's introduce the guests here. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to start just to my right. The, the band we have in tonight, we've had on multiple times. It's accidentally on Poipus, uh, and uh, the accidentally on purpose band is going on the road to Point Fest, uh, playing at Pops on April 1st. So that's a, a week from this Saturday, I do believe. Uh, we got right next to me mr uh, jacob pullen what's happening mr jacob I'll, I'll, yeah <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Good job, buddy. man <laughs> this this is why he is pre- the this is why he's the face of the band and it's why true. you should you should he's our you know. mascot i didn't pregame he's like our uh, he's like our chuck e cheese you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> hey i'm Look. voting for best shirt of the group tonight I, I, is that, I actually saw Jacob? I actually saw that uh, oh, that tour that was the that Presto was a, tour. Awesome Pigpen album. From that tour. Yeah, that that was a uh, that you was a, stole that from Pigpen. Oh, we're getting down to it now. <laughs> I think I had that exact. Uh, I think mine was just a T-shirt though. Yeah. I don't know. There's maybe. no V-neck. It ain't yeah. yours. No, no, but that that was a great uh, tour, and they had a bunch of like rabbits dancing on stage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was, it was, I, I was pretty lit anyway. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, I love that album. Anyway, ne- next to uh, Mr. Jacob Pullen, we got Violet on drums. What's happening, Violet? Hey guys. And now and we gals. and gals. No, he's not talking to the gals. This is just oh, for okay. the guys out there. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all, all right. you gals, Good shut your reels. ears. <laughs> so, Call him up. <laughs> Turn off so, the radio now. <laughs> uh, oh, the radio's broken already. Oh, yeah, yeah. People dive out of here when this comes on. <laughs> 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 you can't turn the radio on fast enough as soon as we or start Or they this swerve show. very hard, like, what's happening? Yeah, they turn it on to Market Street. They got to get uh, yeah. Yeah, So, so... Down at that well, down at the very far end, we've got Carter, who was the first guitar, first chair, <laughs> first chair, first, guitar, chair, yeah. first mm-hmm. chair, and Alex next to him, second chair guitar. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty good, just however, you know. Always, <laughs> oh, I don't hold up. Always living in my shadow. <laughs> uh, despite the fact that Carter is like four inches shorter. You're gonna have to lean in for everyone else to hear. I'm that. not, for the record, I'm not the shortest member of the band. That's true. That's, That's true. true. And that would be the missing member. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm going to just go out on a limb and say Fox is the shortest member. That is true, yeah. The smallest instrument. You're going to have to lean into the mic if you want everyone to hear you. There he's you a bass out. player. You're doing he's not great. used Don't to microphones. Let, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. Yeah, now, just lean yeah. on in yeah. there and tell there us what you, you, you want know. to know. say. Come on, Jacob. We're all wanting to know. Tell me what you want to know. What you want to say. Your brother is very short. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Fox is short. Yeah. All right, there you go. All right. I have a nice way to say it. But, uh, I'm trying to put Jacob on the spot really because nice. his, his introduction went so well. I knew that the rest yeah. of it was going to be perfect. <laughs> Every time I I want to, I'll just be like, Jacob, tell me what's on your mind. <laughs> A bunch of nothing. Every time. It's actually so true. It's so true. Uh, There's nothing going on in there. All right. So, so there, in addition to Fox, in, in addition to his empty brain and, and Fox not being here, I want to bring up another person. I'm not, I'm not saying it's the fifth Beatle. I'm Aww. not saying it's a member of your band, but I understand. Billy Shears? That you guys have been working with a lyricist? No. Is this true? Uh, we work with our Foxes, our lyricist. Oh, well, no, right. I'm, I'm no, no, talking no, no, about no, no. maniacal you're Mel. About, you're talking about Last Dinosaur. Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. 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 Ma- yeah. Maniacal Mel. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, so th- this is a this is a strange uh, story. At least the way I heard it. And you can correct me if I'm wrong. But at some festival a year or so ago, a guy gives Ooh, you it was more than a year. Yeah, it's, it's been several <laughs> years back. Many a guy years. guy hands you. Uh, a book or, or a set of lyrics or whatever it is, yeah. right? 
and you guys like it, but you have no idea who he is <laughs> or anything. Yeah. But you go ahead and take the song and work it up. You're like, mm-hmm. hey, this yeah. is this is a nice set of lyrics. We're going to work this up into a song. So, I mean, he actually gave us a journal full of, like, several different songs. Yeah, that's um, what I'm, that's I, what I was thinking. I don't know. Was they didn't have chords attached. I don't know they, Fox Fox, no, but no, there was no, no music. It was, it was all, all, it's all he, poetry. Yeah, he doesn't, yeah, write, he doesn't write music. He just writes so, words. We've only recorded one of the songs that's in the journal. Um, I think there's a f- at least a good three that we've written into songs, uh, but we only play one of them, and we've only recorded one of them. But Last Dinosaur is the one that we recorded, and it will be on our EP coming up sometime. Well, whenever. whenever I, I'd, I'd, also, yeah. I'd also like to add that Maniacal Mel's journal is published as a book. It's called Calculated Entropy. You there you go. Off Amazon. Yeah. And... The Last Dinosaur by Accidentally on Purpose is in that book. So if you there buy you it, go. then you can see the so, lyrics so of that song. So there you go, go, yeah, there you go. Give it a shout yeah. out again. Uh, Calculated Entropy by Maniacal Mel. You yeah. can well, find it, it. I got my copy on Amazon. You I can know. find it. Doesn't he have, yeah, uh, that's doesn't cool. he have a, a second one out, too? There, he, he does, does also have bedtime. a second book. I, I blank on the name yeah. of it. Bedtime. I, I have yeah, a bedtime. copy of it. Because I have. Uh, we have a copy of both of them. No, no. Uh, bedtime is the third one, I think. Oh, There's really? I forget what the second yeah. one is. Yeah, there, okay. I, 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 I'm blanking There's on so it right now. There's so much lore that I'm missing. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. He's right. a published author. Yeah. 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 So, so basically, correct me if I'm wrong, but the plan is to basically, we'll end up like... Become a, mi- a maniacal male tribute band. Well, they'll they'll kind of like that's the goal. Out. Honestly, he's they'll, been they'll looking for like one for years. Out over time, you know, sometimes yeah. you'll never know when we put something out. You know, one of them might pop up, and you're like, oh, that's a maniacal male song. You'll so, you'll well so, you'll know because if the song is really good, it's probably written by maniacal male. If it's bad, it's probably written by Fox. <laughs> well, <that's, laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Burn I'm kidding. on I'm hot. Oh, oh man, let the fox tail on. So fire. I got a question for Pigpen. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. did Mel ever give you that stack, and you didn't get to it? Of songs uh, you're he, talking he, about because yeah, he, he gave me a stack too once. And I, we never did. I, I don't I, remember dinosaur. That's a that's a stormtrooper Nazi was the one he wanted us Nazi to do. So good. That was yeah. a classic. See, they know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, they want they, us to, to do that to finish out the story on, on how it kind of went. You down. You don't have a stack. He, I do. Okay, I've got, I just I've got multiple you. stacks. See, so there's the rest of the story, guys. He's been trying to get bands to do one of his songs for years. He, well, so he, congratulations he, to you he, guys he, for finally doing it. Someone it. should have. And, and he is, <laughs> he's teamed up with songwriters before. He teamed up with Murph Dog for a while. Oh, that, yeah. That, uh, and, and, uh, he was I, in I, Head I, East. Yeah, right. uh, yeah, he, he jammed with Head East at least once we could you claim You should see the I list of guitar players that have been in Head East. Oh, I, I Check wor- out their website, seriously. I worked with Head East. East and their their uh, their keyboard player tell the was keyboard the only he was again? the only original <laughs> member. Everybody else was like thirty. <laughs> like, uh, I thought crazy. you were going to tell the missing key Something story, like which is in about eight <laughs> episodes. Uh, okay. So it, it, anyway, he, <laughs> maniacal Mel hands you this uh, this journal of, of poetry, lyrics, uh, and everything, and you end up liking one and you you make a, a song out of it but you, you don't really know how to get a hold of him you don't have his phone number <laughs> yeah. he's secret he's not a, yeah he's not a guy that you can just look up on facebooks but he i, you I play the song is, yeah. you play the song live and he was in the audience. Yeah, yeah. Was, and like, heard the first it. Time we ever played it, too. <laughs> it was the second or third time we ever played it, but like it was. It was, it was early it was on. The yeah. first one in like a more like streamlined set because we played it at Shea Maryland, but that was like that was like a four hour just. That yes. Was like a, that was like a full show kind of. We're thing. running out of yeah. songs, kind of thing. Yeah. You've yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. No, we yeah. had plenty. Yeah. The the which one you guys want to play again? The yeah. rock <laughs> the rock lobster interstellar overdrive mashup lasted for about twenty. Yeah, minutes. Yeah, and that, <laughs> frankly, that could last nice. for an entire set if it yeah. needs to. I mean, that could last for a lifetime. Yeah, that, okay. Rock, that's just having fun. We could have played it Rock for four Lobster hours. Interstellar yeah. Overdrive. Yeah. That's that's it's actually put respect on the name of Interstellar Lobster. <laughs> very much. Right. But yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, Interstellar Overdrive is long to begin with. Right? Yeah. 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 Original. No yeah. And then we made up an entire just random jam in the middle of it. Well, of course. That's called that's Space what Pink Odyssey Floyd 2000. would do, except they'd have a movie going while they did it. Back uh, in the day when that they was were, me oh, putting my there's a caller. Up. Let's see what they want. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, if he calls caller, are you like, on the air and serious yeah. about talking to accidentally on purpose? They they don't have yep. headphones though. <laughs> yeah, yes, I am. I can hear him. All right, Jacob's got the headphones on. You're talking. All right, you're talking with Jacob live on the air. Make this say whatever you want to say. Slay it. Say it slow and sultry. Slay it. All right. Slay it. Hey, hey, Jacob. It's uh. Hey, Noah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the dude yeah, from the art. It was me. It was me already. Yeah. Um, when uh, when will uh, when will your be out? Your uh, your new album be coming out? Uh, uh just the, uh, 
just asking for a friend. The album? Our caller Noah Dunlap is asking when our uh, new album Mars is going to be released. Yes, yes. That's, so that's a really good question. That's a good question. That's a very good the question. The funny uh, thing about that is we're both only halfway done with it and just about broke. Yeah. <laughs> it, hopefully, that's, that's uh, ideally, it will be out by about this summer. Um, yeah. But we're making good progress on it. Yeah, they, I, I think the rest of the stuff that we need to do will go by much quicker than the stuff that we've already done. Uh, but, the, like, so we had to get the rhythm tracks and the drums for everything, which just takes a while. Um, but I, I think leads won't leads and vocals won't take nearly as long no, as anything else. It really it. shouldn't. So we did some. Uh, unfortunately, our album is over an hour long. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's, songs that's not over unfortunate. An hour long. It's unfortunate for our wallet. Well, so so here, here's the 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 question pose is, when will the album be out? And I don't think any of you are are ready to answer in days, hours, weeks. But you can answer in dollars. It's like two thousand more dollars, and it'll be out. Let's that's say. actually fairly accurate. Right. About, yeah, 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 about, that's, that's, yeah, yeah. Dollars. I'd say about two grand more. Yeah. See, I, I I'm good at this game. Yeah. We'd, li- we'd like to get give a <laughs> shout out to uh, the wonderful man behind the Mars Project, Ryan Wasabo. Yes, uh, he's oh, been a yeah. great producer, and uh, we love working. Well, and the knob turner. Yeah. And where is this being done at? Bird Cloud. Bird Cloud. Bird Cloud. Okay, in, there you in go. Collinsville, in Collinsville, Illinois. yeah. And, and Ryan Watts. Ryan Wasaba. Wasaba, yeah. yeah. Wasaba. Of there the band go. Thorax. Of uh, what's the <laughs> old formerly one? formerly of the band So Many Dynamos. Thank you. Yep. There you go. So now Noah, you got any more questions? Um. Sounds uh, awful really windy out there on that now. arc. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I hear a lot. <laughs> we already had that Noah on. This must be Enoch. <laughs> this is this is a different one. Oh, okay. I, I, believe. I do believe. All right, that's fine. The Noah we had got... really did build arcs. Did um, it? I don't remember that. That's I, crazy. I don't. I don't Unknown think I... sailing. Their band is. Oh, okay. Back <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was very confused. I thought we had some like biblical creature on it. <laughs> like I didn't remember somehow. Creatures? <laughs> well, I don't know what. The show know. gets crazy. People, might not be a creature. People, Maybe people. A creature, per, I, I'm a creature, so what? don't judge me. Well. All right, Mr. Noah. Well, thanks for calling. You you posed a good question. You got any more questions, or you all uh, out of questions, Mr. Questions? I think I'm a lot of questions. All right. Well, thank you for calling. You can come pick up your prize anytime. Did he get a prize? I don't think he got a prize. Fortnite later? It's us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're the prize. <laughs> the prize is you get to play Fortnite with this band later. All right. Thanks, Mr. Oh, Noah. You're a winner. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. All right. Bye-bye. Uh, there you go. That, well, that, that, that was a question I was going to ask later. Okay, it's like yeah. the what guy's trying the question, to take my job. Just in case, uh, because uh, like the cameras may end up being the audio, so I don't know if the cameras... The, the question phone. was, the question was, uh, uh, when is their album yeah. coming out? And okay, the answer cool. is $2,000 from now. I, I, just think, I think a good estimate is like late summer, early fall, if I had to guess. I think late summer, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll have it done. Okay. We, we would like it to be done during the rocket summer. Of okay, course. let's let's just do the, again. Again, let's just do the math here. So it's two thousand. You're making fourteen bucks at a time. I'm yeah. just assuming whatever no, it is sure. you do doesn't pay well. <laughs> What if we release it in two parts? Well, most of us release the rocket summer <laughs> yeah, part during yeah. the summer. We're making fourteen yeah. the hard way. <laughs> no, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> a band oh, meeting like broke out there day. right in the middle of that I, question. I, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that's because Noah's question was awe inspiring. Yeah. Well, to the extent I would say, like when we're trip. making such a groundbreaking and important album, there's lots of things to consider. <laughs> that's true. Well, we invented this. prog rock. Yes, well, it, ha- it hasn't it's been true. invented yet, but once our album comes out in about two thousand more dollars, uh, uh, so I we, know we, what you guys meant. You traveled back in, in time. time. That's yeah. exactly and what I was going to say. And, sure. Yeah, I you get actually it. inspired yeah. King Crimson. I, 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 that was exactly the yeah, band on my mind. I was going to say you were around Mars. before King Crimson. Sure. When when the Mars album releases, uh, Robert Fripp's going to have to get back to work. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm I mean, in the DMCA dungeon, Robert. Fripp. I'm just glad. And, and the court like of the Crimson Al. King is heavily inspired <laughs> by Million Year Picnic. They basically stole our melody. <laughs> I think he jams on YouTube on Sundays. He does. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. I don't know that. So he's already working. Barely. Not hard enough. Like no. that. <laughs> I, I, I know. Know. What? You make more money Our on YouTube so now than you do touring. That Rob is going to give us a copyright <laughs> strike. And take <laughs> yeah, so, so you, you guys are all uh, fairly young folk. You, you're all some fairly young folk. Have any of you seen Kim, King Crimson live? I'd sure like to. I, yeah, I would sure like to. Their current drummer is a favorite of mine, Gavin Harrison. Uh, he pay, played for Porcupine Tree and mm-hmm. Pineapple Thief, 
and he's playing for King Crimson now, so I'd really love to see, to see them with him. I want to see them because I like King Crimson. That's true. <laughs> yeah. It's just like... The f- First time I saw them live, I didn't know who they were. They just came on stage and blew my mind where I couldn't even talk for hours. <laughs> like, it, was, it was one of those, like, I don't even what, what year was it? It was, uh, they were on the Warp Tour. Uh, or, no, Horde, they were on the what? Horde Fest. Horde, Horde Fest. I said the wrong oh. one. I've seen too many festivals. I knew they weren't on the no. Warp Tour. That'd be the funniest <laughs> yeah. thing in the that world. That would be awesome. I must no, have they, missed <laughs> the pop punk era. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they, they, were were on, uh, they were on Horde Robert Fest. Robert Fripp up there wearing his Vans. <laughs> dude, oh, dude. He's a skater a lot of people yeah. don't know Robert that opens give that like man a monster so i didn't know happens. robert Fripp was balling <laughs> oh 24 he, he 7 three pointers all day man. Yeah. he beat kidding, prince one on one yeah. I, th- I think when robert Fripp goes to the skate park he probably still sits down in a chair while he's skating yeah. probably <laughs> he has so to it. uh so there you go man uh, it, it's just good to hear that that you you uh, youngsters like good music. Oh yeah. Uh, so speaking we don't of make good, good music, we do like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yeah, for no. the sake of promotion, we are making good music. I, for I yeah, for the sake I, of promotion. I I will say this. So the first time I saw you guys play was uh, at the uh, light lighthouse. Oh, it was man. it was on that back of that. It's probably the, like 2016, 2017. It, it's it's it been uh, April, um, tw- yeah, April it's, 28th. 2018. What? It's you been, know that? Uh, uh, September 21st, 2017 was the first one. Okay. okay so, wow. Well, let's yeah. just let's yeah. just say it's been a fortnight. I thought you'd like that. Yeah. So, there, so, so uh, you have like a laugh track or something. I saw. Uh, we do. It, it, we we we. He but, laughs at his own jokes. So I, it's fine. I, 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 <laughs> I'm the only one who laughs at my own jokes. It's fine. Is this like the most that Fortnite has ever been mentioned in one of your interviews? Uh, second most at this point. But we can. We still got time. We can, oh, I'm we can, sorry. We you do hold do the it. record for Sasquatch. That is true. Yeah. And sex squatch. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. We anyway, mentioned him a lot. Continue with your thought. But right. it was them, yeah. The, but the, what I was going to say is the first time I saw you was many moon ago on that you know trailer mm-hmm. out there, and it was a slightly different lineup. But uh, and, and you weren't quite the tight act that you have have uh, grown into. But I could tell you. No, in back, fact, we have a very awesome microtonal version of. <laughs> Of Voodoo Child <laughs> that we rehearsed. No, it's not microtonal. We're just polytonal. It's, it's actually more progressive than that. We're playing it in two separate keys at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, continue. No, I I, I was just gonna say I've uh, I've watched you guys over the, since dang, dang near your inception as mm-hmm. a band, and uh, you guys do write good music. I, 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 so many bands don't try <laughs> so to true. well you know look so look I, I look look everybody every most people i know that are writing songs they're trying to write songs they believe in they're trying yeah. to do the good thing mm-hmm. but it's, it's it's also very easy to just go <laughs> you know uh and and again i'm not into uh trying to write progressive music for the sake of being progressive or mm-hmm. let's make this complicated so i can say look how complicated my song is but i like it when songs on a journey take you into those yeah. Yeah. uh into those places you know uh and that's uh, it's always cool to see the bands like you guys i love the lofties comet band uh I, I like to see a lot of the young bands around here that are uh reaching towards stuff you don't see everybody else reaching yeah. towards you know what i mean instead of the three minute Whoa. pop song i, can't I think believe the... he admitted that on air <laughs> he likes checking out Sticking his hand out to young bands and okay. oh, oh, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. what are you talking Listen, about? Mm, I don't know. I wasn't really band. listening, so maybe I missed mm. something. I, I I I'm fine with what you said too. I'm you know, I think the important thing about our philosophy as a band is that we're not really out here to write progressive music. We're out here to scare the hoes, <laughs> <laughs> and that's where our primary motivation uh, to come to write music comes from. All right, so, I'll correct. I'll so, correct. No, 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 no. I, the the rush shirt makes sense now. It's yeah. like I've been to rush shows. There's not a chick in the concert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's our goal. I, I honestly, but, similar to yeah. an accidentally on oh, purpose my, show. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh! Like they come back. They come once and then they don't come back. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you I know, will say that in, my the, dad. in the local music scene, there is a lot of good bands that are like pushing the envelope, being progressive. Yeah. Chainlink, Tanukis, Oh yeah, Lofty's Comet, as you oh, mentioned, yeah. Silver, Silver Material. Material. Silver yeah, there's Material's a lot awesome. of good bands. Uh, in I quite the local like music I love scene. the Produce Isle is a good. Well, local oh yeah, yeah. Produce Isle is like <laughs> us, no. Matthew, and all better at their instruments. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> no, but, I'll give them that. They're they're uh, tight. They are very tight. They're super tight. What about the bands you're playing with for a Road to Point Fest like H7? Hey. Oh, they suck. That, right? I, yeah. I was going there. <laughs> no, we like H7. 
No cross no. promotion. <laughs> no, definitely cross promotion. <laughs> Buy a ticket, please. So from us. Buy a ticket from us. So to clue everyone in, Alex has got two bands going that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's, I don't know why he. I don't know how he got second chair guitar. Sounds like a first chair guy to me. No. <laughs> well, it's playing There's, more music. It's just not as good. Oh come on! <laughs> yeah. All right, well let's not. Uh, oh, now, oh, hold on. We can we can it. start a physical fight here if Whoa. we try. So this listen, what he's <laughs> saying, what he's saying to you, Prince. <laughs> Get a nice angle going. Oh. We're not here to start any so, yeah. beef with any local bands. We love no, local but uh, who all's on the bill? Seventeen eighty one, right? Yeah, yeah. seventeen eighty one. They, they are our guests next week. Really? See, oh, they will okay. be in here talking. Cool. They, they will nice. be in here talking. I was next frustrated because all the Alton bands got put on your bill. Yeah. I wish they'd have been spread out spread to the out. final. 86 week Red after. is on the yeah, next session Red. after us. 86 so. Red, that was. After. I talked to Cameron a few days ago, and Cameron was like, I'm so glad we didn't get put on the same Exactly. Yeah. Because it that would have been, been like four Alton bands. <laughs> yeah. 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 See, if we could have spread you out, then mm. the finals would have been all the Alton. Bands. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the goal. Isn't 1781 the band that their bio says they were a. Uh, shop and did? Save. Yeah, Shop and that's Save. Right. Well, we're a Schnooks band. So. Okay. Sure. Well, except for me, I guess. Well, I also like just quit Schnooks, so. Yeah, but like. Which majority. You it sucks. majority. Majority. Majority, yeah. If you guys would like to uh, pick up any tickets for our show at Red Flag Thank or you. our show at Pops, you can find me at the Godfrey Schnooks Deli uh, Friday, Sunday, <laughs> and Tuesdays. And also uh, me on from Friday one to and nine. Sunday from uh, 1 to 9. Come pick Good up your move. tickets, everybody. I'd like to see you there. People are used to buying tickets at Schnooks. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. If you want to go somewhere else, you can go see, to the Eastgate Germania. See, if you buy I'm, wor a I'm working every Friday night. Drive -thru. Okay. Yeah, if you buy a ticket in front of Schnooks, you will not get any return, but if you get some from the back, you get to see a ball. Show. Okay. No. Okay. So Robert Fripp will be there. Sure. Yeah. Right. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> He's a big fan. He's going to invent prog rock be after we invent yeah. prog rock. After, <laughs> after these CDs come out, I'm and actually going to send it back in time with our AOP time machine, and yeah. I'm going to send it to his front door in the year yeah. of 1967, nah. and it's going to blow his mind. Okay. He's going to be like, wow, how do I play this CD? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was going to say I was going to send him the uh, the STEM files, but. <laughs> I think that's even worse. Yeah. All right, all right Carter. You're, so so Carter's the thinker of the group. He's also, paying attention. I've got, I've got big ideas all yeah. the time. Yeah. You got they big always, something. They Some are questionable. You got Some big something over there. All right. So, 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 so yeah. we touched on that Alex is H7 and accidentally on purpose and anything else because you have been in the past uh currently I, not really i guess at the moment um at least my main two focuses are precarious is getting back together okay yeah that's yep, maybe precarious i mean situation i'm not i'm not counting that right now okay i'm not counting that right now but fame, that, fame, that's famed on, alton that's emo band yeah famed alton emo band precarious <laughs> situation what about that's... noble are we going to see them oh. again? No. We may see. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We may see a noble reunion sometime in the future. It's not lined up. But. You might. <laughs> So we'll have a noble reunion with Ethan Lyons <laughs> and Oliver Rayson. Uh, all right. And I'm not even going to get into you guys because, like, you end up in every band just some night all of yeah. a sudden. So <laughs> Some night all of a sudden. That right. is one of their bands. They're called right. Some Night Jacob All of a Sudden. Jacob is actually the only bass player in the world. For a while, that is nice. yeah. they stay up cashing yeah. in their bad luck. It, it, it felt that way because for a while a there is like every time we had a young band and Jacob would show, would show up. up, and it's like, dude, are you even really in this band? Or are you just here for the free Cheetos that we never really have? It's well, definitely the Cheetos. Cheetos. It's definitely the Cheetos. Yeah, there's no Cheetos here. Sorry. So this uh, is an April Fool's Day. It, 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 sure. The show yeah, is the, gig, the show is happening on April Fool's. This gig is gonna go silly. Okay, I'm just making sure it wasn't a joke. We're not allowed to be silly gooses. <laughs> now we named three cool. of the bands. I've who, been banned. Who didn't we name? Let's be uh, cool. Though. I believe Split Sixty Six is another one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And there's five on the ticket. Right? I don't remember who the other one is. Well, it's four. It's nothing personal, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, you, dude, really? Nothing personal's on the bill because those guys are tight. Yeah, <laughs> those guys are good, man. No, I don't think that's it. No, it's not a, it. Uh, sacrifice the okay. sacred. Sacrifice is sacred. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I'm so confused. Who we played with. Thank before. you. We have played with before. Like thrice. I not, we haven't played with we the have, band oh, thrice. No, but we, we have not. played with. We as people, not as excellent. Have we played with them three times? We played yeah. with them a few times. Yeah. All right. See, so I was oh, getting yeah. the two okay. gigs mix, mixed up because it's Brave New World at Red Flag. Yes, right. Yeah. That's a completely that's different a lineup. Brave yeah. New World, yeah. Blush, Brave New World, Blush, and uh, that sacrifice is Joel. Right? Joel, 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 and uh, Eagle. 
I, yeah, the yard eagles or something mm. like that. Yard There's got to be some place we can go find this information because you guys I, obviously I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> I tried it well, I mean, I you can find, find it on our Facebook. Facebook. There you yeah. go. Way to go, <laughs> Alex. Nice. Oh, thanks and that for is clearing that. Accidentally on uh, porpoise. Yeah, it's weird having two five band lineups two weeks in a row because I can't remember which one's on which or which yeah. one you're in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in three Surprise bands on this night and two set. bands on the other <laughs> night. Yeah, all right. Speaking of bands, what do we got going on Friday night? We got Trinity here, Ways yeah. open mic, and that reminds me that uh, Accidentally on Purpose was in the first Trinity's Way show and Festival. movie. Yeah. River and Fest. movie. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the movie, the movie, the movie. And we played Voodoo Child in the right key yeah. that time. Except <laughs> the guitar kept cutting out. Yeah. Right? Wow. It it's did. all in the movie. Yeah, because Nick yeah. Nick had just like built this amp and it didn't work. Yeah, it had the wrong wattage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many ohms is that cabinet? Yep, son? yep, yep. I That's a good exactly. first gig. I remember it. It vividly. happens. You need it that happens. stuff when yeah. you're playing your first gig. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So there it adds you character. Yeah. yeah. yeah has the has sure. the Ben radio story been told on? The Which air. one? When oh, Ben yeah. picked up radio uh, interference. Maybe we should I'll save it. Save it for our next interview. Yeah. So save, we were they're talking about for, we for a better talking, interview. Will you guys no, go to the, the point next? Well, I just mean save it for later I, in this just, interview because you were in the middle of a thing. I'm just the teasing. Ben, uh, Thank you. The Ben death capacitor story is way better anyway. Okay. Coming we up. Can, we can save that. We can yeah. save yeah. that. Coming up on Riverbend Talent, as soon as we tell you about Trinity Way's open mic night tomorrow at Mavis yeah. Coffee oh, at yeah. Milton School, where accidentally on purpose may show up, but they're probably at Chinooks working. Yeah. yeah, I was about to say, car uh, four, four to eight p.m. That's an early one. So. But they're selling tickets, so they're going to be popping in some of these gigs. I'm just saying. there you go. Uh, yeah, so there's, there's because I've seen one. that 1781 was out popping into gigs, and I'm just saying, you know, a lot of ticket sales. What that means when it comes down to yeah. the finals, you don't even have to play selling enough tickets. <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't be no fun, but it's yeah. true. Oh, <laughs> Look, we sold the most tickets we're refusing to play. We'll see you next <laughs> but time. But we still win. <laughs> that would be I'll all, love it if a that would be would do awesome. That. <laughs> like, you, you nobody wants to not play once you're there, but that would be really well, awesome. Go we hate to bring up the politics, leave. but it's true. Uh, so there you go. So so anyway, after uh, yeah, we got Trinity's Way 4 to 8 at uh, Mavis Coffee House. Mm-hmm. That open mic is going down uh, tomorrow night. You guys familiar with Moon Rocket? No, 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 that's they're playing the conservatory. So, so. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I'm not familiar with them either. They're playing 8:30 at the conservatory Friday okay. night. Friday Ooh. night. Yep. There have you to go. go check them out. Yeah. But I say they have. Is there even a moon there? or a rocket that can reach the moon? Uh. Mm. uh or are we in that's a dome? That's still to be determined. Yeah. It is. Possibly. Yeah. Let's talk for the next 40 minutes about how the moon landing was faked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You, would you like to start? <laughs> no, I, I, no, I would like to not oh, talk about that. How did no, they get a camera up there? man, you're bringing me down. It's actually directed by Steven Spielberg. <laughs> right? Stanley Kubrick. Lookout oh, Mountain yeah, in Laurel Canyon. Kubrick. They Whatever, filmed it all man. at Lookout Mountain in Laurel Canyon. We'll no, I was on the sound stage where they filmed most of it. <laughs> John Wayne was in it. You are that old, huh? Yeah, I they, am. Uh, they, they took so, <laughs> so many great you guys to fake find. it that they just filmed it on location. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right. greatest theory I've ever I love heard. It. I love it. <laughs> Finally. So we, you know, you haven't that. said a whole lot tonight, but when you saved it. You made it count when you opened your Insightful. mouth. Insightful. So yeah. we can move on. We solved yeah. it. There yeah. you go. There you there go. go. We're going to back the blue with the Glendale Riders at Bluff City Grill. There you, know, you go. On Friday night. All right. That's, 7 p.m. That's at the Bluff Big City Grill. Big Pin's excited. There you go. He I, likes I'm, back in the blue. I Well, you know what I like at, at Bluff City Grill is their crab cakes. And I know we're a long way from an ocean, but they, they got good crab cakes, whatever. And, and it's it's included in the ticket. It, appetizers and snacks. Oh, that's got to be. That, that should be crab some, cakes yeah, has got to be an appetizer. It is. I like crab cakes because they would never kill my dog. Can we talk the rest <laughs> of the show about whether crab cakes are an appetizer or not? What? I think yeah. crab cakes could be a meal as long as you got a vegetable on the side. Depends on how many crab cakes you eat. Mr. Carter, could you wait your turn? We'll ask you about crab cakes when your turn comes. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on here. I had crab cakes in Thailand once. Oh, I, Darius Spangler is playing at the Lodge. <laughs> <laughs> the Lodge at Lovejoy, by the way. Free speech, Lovejoy, uh, right? Uh, and all good. <laughs> Pianos at Rage and Cajun. How'd they do that every week? Rage on Cajun. It's a piano bar, and they got pianos there. It's, it's amazing. 
It's pretty good how it works out for him. Up all night at Fast Eddie's Friday, seven thirty. Yeah. Matt Tall, seven o'clock at Baker's and Hale and Godfrey Farm to Table Food. Not to be confused with Martin Short. Yeah. Buzz Tone, seven to ten at the Moose in Wood River. Toxic Johnny. <laughs> Wigglers at Holiday Shores in Edwardsville Friday <laughs> nice. night. That's another place for good food. Wigglers has good food. Oh, yeah. And okay. they tip well. Okay. For the band. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Played the patio there before? Played the uh, indoors. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that means it was a winter gig. That's all that means. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Darian I mean, Rowe. 100 bucks tips before you even started playing. So. And, and the tip's the best part anyway. Well, then I could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a song David Allen Coe wrote about that. Right. You remember that David Allen Coe song? I, I I do, and I'm not gonna sing it right now. He's no relation to Darian Rowe. I, <laughs> David Allen Coe and Darian Rowe. But now, she is playing at the Corner Tavern in Edrazil, right across from the Wild E, kind of, sort of. Yeah. Corner, where Jim Messino will be again Friday night. Yeah. Right? There, there you go. Remember Crystal Lady? Yeah, they got yeah, to like yeah, the yeah. finals, didn't they? Yeah, I yeah, think so. Yeah, I think yeah. they went to the think, finals last I think year. They had, I think they had to drop because they were doing something in L.A. Yeah, okay. they they did it like a tour or they something. Did. They did. Wow! So they gave up on uh, the second stage. Well, at they didn't play Point a tour. Festival. They went and took a tour of Universal oh. Studio. Well, no, no, they, <laughs> they played. I seen the video. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, so they'll be at the back bar right excellent. across the parking lot from Wildy. Oh, there you go. A lot's and, going and Pigpen on. likes their drinks. They pour them strong. Yeah. They pour them to get you drunk, man. That's... Mo Pleasure around the corner at Big Daddy's. Dana Anderson at the Sagger Inn around the corner again. Mm-hmm. And wherever the Chop House is, probably at 1818 somewhere in Edwardsville, <laughs> Jack Twested. Yeah. And 1818 Chop House. Stop and get a drink, but don't park too close. Steve Woolly Bully, 7 to 11. <laughs> At the cabin of Judy <laughs> Creek in Glen Carver. Everybody can sing that song. A little Sam and the Sham <laughs> comedy going on, on there, Stephen Woolly Bully. I would use that, uh, wouldn't you? I, I, it sounds like a stage name I'd for definitely sure. play it. If my name's Steve Woolly, I'm playing, I'm playing Woolly, Woolly Bully. Bully. Right. Woolly Bully! And, the, and this Bully. is... We haven't been able to do gigs for a while because we've had tape shows and this, yeah, this basketball is, it, team was playing and right, all this all crap stuff going on. But, but uh, yeah, so we missed out on the first couple of weeks at uh, Alfresco. Alfresco's production of uh, 9 to 5, the musical. All right. Heck yeah, Dolly Parton, man. Down in Granite City. Yeah, you guys know that movie? Or is that too old for you guys? 9 to 5? Oh, I know the song. Never seen it. No, never seen it. Do you know the chest? <laughs> yeah. No, they don't. They don't, because <laughs> they'd know what I meant if they knew what I was well, talking about. Well, you know, their 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 I'm music is all about. We're not talking about pirates. They're, Let's they're, just put it that way. Their music is to, to so scare the, scare them away. Yeah. Somebody not, got not, it. Uh, you got uh, it. Uh, Hello, Dolly. Right, that's right, Jacob. Good job. You've been hanging out with your dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sure hope so. <laughs> uh, what else Friday night? Five point plan. Yep. Yeah. Patrick's eight thirty. Got strings and keys down at the Oaks in Granite City on Friday evening, going seven to ten p.m. Not to be confused with the Water Buffalo Lodge. Well, the Water Buffalo Lodge, the Elks Lodge, they're close but different. Uh, we got Phase 2 going on at Deutz Village Inn in Pontoon Beach. Always a party down at Deutz Village Inn. That's happening 8.30 to midnight on Friday. And then Mojo Universe, that's out at the uh, Rustic. And Warden. And Warden. Yeah. So. And then there you go. Experience Live Music Row, all that stuff again. All that's happening down in Belleville. So there you go. That's a pretty decent little Friday evening happening in our... Not bad. Little River Bend community. Now, what story were we saving? We're saving a Ben story. A couple of Ben stories. Okay. Ben's Ben radio story. Yeah, why oh, don't, Carter, why don't you tell it? Oh, uh, yeah. I wasn't even there. Why should I tell it? Well, because you brought it up, bro. Because you always talk about it. Yes, you're the one who tells the story most. Oh. Hey, I brought there. it up because it's a story that's funny because it's been brought up so much. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, while playing at, Renf- at Red Flag, uh, Ben's crappy Ampeg amp uh, picked up uh, radio interference during Rocket Summer, uh, and Jacob told me about a hundred times, probably <laughs> at least. Like, like yeah, what came it went th- pretty yeah. much exactly like that. It, yeah. it sounded yeah. exactly the like joke, that. Was it coming it from a rocket? Me, we always bring Perhaps. it up because we Perhaps. say that's going on the album. It has yet to go on the album. It's yet yeah. to go on the album. But He's I guess been it recording. Has to now. So, so, so did it sound like like a uh, like a plane? Like uh, this is your captain speaking, uh, or a rocket? Or, or did yes, it sound it was, like it was a more CB? 
It was it was along the lines of the first thing you said. It was like you you can kind of clearly hear uh, something. Uh, four, this is the bedroom mechanic. Like what they were saying. Yeah. yeah, there you go. I think the I couldn't hear what you were saying because he was cupping the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was covering up what he said because he said you couldn't hear what no one says. See, it's, oh, okay. all, it's all very subliminal. <laughs> really confusing. Uh, yeah, I think the better Ben's amp story is how uh, it used to shock you if you touched metal while you were playing it. Uh, yeah. And I remember we, those we were nights. messing around with it. Like we, I was playing a musical with him, and he brought that amp. And so I would like touch a pencil to the keyboard amp, and then I'd go over and we like touch fingers and stuff. And then he would go over and poke somebody. At, oh, he's pointing yeah. out so, the Yeah. <laughs> but then he'd go and touch somebody, and it would shock him, and we'd send a shock across the entire orchestra, basically. <laughs> and then one day he's like drinking. He's drinking a Dr Pepper, and. He takes a sip of it while he's playing guitar, and it knocks him flat on his ass. <laughs> uh, so he takes it over to uh, to Mojo's to get it fixed, and he's told, yeah, this is sending uh, lethal levels of voltage through you every single time you play guitar. Uh, you could have died any time you did that. So they put something called a death capacitor in it, and now it works. <laughs> they took out the death capacitor. Death. So, yeah. The death capacitor is a feature that was common on a lot of vintage yeah, the, uh, they The entire band yeah, could have been dead you. hundreds of times. Oh, jeez. It, it actually just you punishes for bad you for being bad at guitar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like a shot uh, collar. You play yeah. the wrong note, and you just die. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might need one of those. I'd be living no, forever. <laughs> you wouldn't last. You would a not last. No, I would not last. That's why I need it. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty. Nuclear pretty crazy there. <laughs> We'd make it to the battle section, then you just explode. Yeah. Oh yeah. Speaking of nuclear winter, uh, we've been up. We've been at the studio recording a lot of cool things. We recorded studio. some uh, orchestral strings. Uh, and yeah. I wrote a horn arrangement for one of our songs, Nuclear Winter. Uh, we got to record it. It sounds really awesome. So, so uh, bringing in special guests, or one of you guys playing the horn, what's going Probably on? Yeah, some special uh, guests. Both. I guess it's a little bit of both, because like, Jacob and I have both played some horn instruments, but uh, we got friends from like Silver Material and um, just some other friends that we know. Pretty much. So right on. Mr. Nathan Lewis. Mr. Nathan Lewis. Nathan Lewis. Formerly uh, of Nathan Th- Lewis. Thomas Ennis. Uh, Nolan McLaughlin on Thomas Cuba. Ennis. Now, now. Wyatt Heflin on trumpet. You're talking Wyatt. Office Depot Thomas Ennis here? I don't know I who think that is. He, I yeah. think he did work at Office Depot. He still does. He was there yesterday. He was there two, two three days ago. If it's a guy at the Thomas I'm thinking of. Was he wearing yeah. a hat? Was he wearing a hat? Yeah, he used to live right in front of me, man. Oh. So. Uh... Adrian? Humbert Road, no. Oh, it was a while uh, back, but anyway, uh, at least maybe, uh, maybe there's two of them. Maybe you never know. Well, I'm but pretty anyway. sure he works at Office, yeah, Office Depot. Depot. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, uh, what's he play? Trumpet. He trumpet. played a yeah. bitch and trumpet solo on, our, on nice. our little secret track that's not a secret. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret in the sense that it isn't. Yeah. Those it's are so my favorite <laughs> secret societies. Yeah. Like it's, the Illuminati. It's everyone so knows so about them. Secret. The track is just on the everyone album. Everyone knows. <laughs> the regular yeah. track on the album. That's great. Uh, yeah. yeah. But you got to wait till the end of the album. But it's only it. like a minute long, so nobody cares. Most people won't have the attention span to sit through our near, like, over hour long album, so it's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> album is only for the advanced listeners. <laughs> yeah, it's a secret if you can stand it. That's to be a good right name for I don't, I don't mean any of these things. No, that is a good yeah. name for an album for advanced listeners yeah. only. I like yeah. that. I like it. We yeah. didn't try and for this to happen. We were pl- we were shooting for it, 45 ac- it minutes. It happened accidentally on purpose. Yeah. yeah. As, as all things. Uh, we, we were see. shooting right. for 45 minutes and, maximum. And then we wrote Nuclear Winter. Well, and yeah, that, that's like a third of that. Well, yeah. we, we had originally the plan was we were going to do it was going to be about like 45 minutes long and we were going to have like two or three songs that were going to be bonus tracks uh for like if we ever did like a deluxe edition and we just threw it all and and you're thinking 10 years in advance at the end of the at the end of the day we decided that uh we probably will never have a deluxe edition of this album (laughs) so the the songs just went on the album anyways increasing the run i love it what are we holding the back for boys (laughs) the uh the deluxe edition is the earth miles at nanashack True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Specifically, uh, <laughs> yeah, the deluxe edition is boost, the same album. We but... uh, we boost like ex- especially like ten seconds of it by like no. twenty decibels. No. Near the end. The we deluxe reco- edition is the same album, but the Earth Miles solo is just like ten minutes longer. <laughs> <laughs> we recorded a a nice live set, and the sound was pretty good, but there were a few unfortunate 
playing mishap. You can just say I sucked. Like it's I'm not mine. saying you sucked. <laughs> we, we all messed I'm up. I'm saying your guitarist uh, tuning pig sucked. But unfortunately... Bro, I just restrung it. Unfortunately, past tense would imply that you... Never mind. Unfortunately, there will not be an AOP live album coming out anymore. I've gotten oh, better. Hey. Uh, that's could, in the cards. We could do one, though. We, we've got... We've We've got like the next couple years of our career planned out. We've got, we've got a. Uh, since leave. when? Yeah. We, we've got we've got the plans for some albums coming out in the future. Which is funny. Because First we get the underpants. The then step years. two. We can't talk about our plans because then step three's profit. The ops will try to sabotage us. Yeah. <laughs> we can't talk about our plans because we don't have an actual plan. Yeah. <laughs> well, down the road eventually we're gonna get to the Sasquatch album. Well, yeah. nice. obviously after album one comes album three, and then. <laughs> We'll, we'll loop around to two eventually. See, yeah, two will yeah. come out eventually. You could you could just George Lucas at start with three, you know? Yeah. Steven yeah, Spielberg. Yeah, this is actually album four. Right. We're going to have to go. retcon our own time. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm excited that you guys are going to do a full album because we've seen a big change in that over the yeah. years. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're seeing oh, yeah. bands just doing singles, and uh, that's fine too, but I like the variety. Mm-hmm. I like the idea of uh, the fact that I know how to have a long ex- uh, uh, uh Attention span. (laughs) 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 No, but seriously, if anyone wants to know, I'm not a doctor, but if you do enough bongs, you will sit through the entire album. You may not realize you're sitting through an entire album. That's That's true. Yeah. See, that is that is actually how you sit through the album. That's right. the recommended way to experience our upcoming album. Yeah. So if you suffer from true. attention span <laughs> problems... <laughs> Try that, maybe. Are you often irritable? I'm not recommending comfortable. <laughs> Sometimes should, just just oh not God. high. Should I list all the side effects now, really fast, so you can't even understand what I say? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Talk to all your right. doctor to see if AOP yeah. is right for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. They it's probably, probably not. Nine, but you can give it a shot. Nine out of ten dermatologists approve. <laughs> Oh, so yeah. So they, hey, let's. Uh, what we, about we, vinyl? We didn't bring that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Expensive. Uh, we don't okay. have the money for that. So, <laughs> yeah. Another two grand. The, okay, no, the problem. Two grand, man. Another two grand. I, the problem is with uh, doing a vinyl release of our album is because it's a concept album. The songs have to go in a certain order. Uh-huh. But the problem is, if you put them in that order, you'd have to have like a double, double album vinyl. to fit it all. But some of the three sided album would, would cover some of the sides Kissed would be extra short and some of them would be extra long, just yeah. like the way that some of the songs are in the running order. Yeah. So if we ever do a vinyl release, it'll have to be it'll we'll be, have to think about it really hard. It's a double album, but one side of the second one's blank. It's no, a three sided we'll album. We could have like a one sided album and then on like the blank side we draw like a cool little picture. Yeah, see? Because yeah. three's a magic we could do, number. We could do a picture disc on the other side and then have now, now you're thinking. Yeah, see, yeah. this is now, why now you you're on a song. I'm thinking yeah. of gas. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm you're thinking? The most devious. This lick. is what I'm thinking is that Saturday night, right? There is going to be some more moon rock. Yeah, down well, the I, I wanted to mention what I did there, and I realized that once we got to Saturday, is uh, they they made a change this week. Ah, is that and what so happened? yeah, they is slid that? some stuff around, and I caught that they moved Moon Rocket to Saturday night. But I forgot to go back and so, take so, them off of Friday. So anybody who listened earlier right. and heard us say they were playing Friday, <laughs> I meant we, we were wrong. Yeah, I meant we Saturday. were wrong. It's Saturday. Ah, it's all right. Fake news. I just here. wanted to get to Moon and Rocket and see what happened. I'm well, man. You heard. You saw what happened. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We all we all did a double take. Right. And that's one of the bands playing a fast Eddie Saturday night. No, Del- no, no. The conservatory. Uh, uh, see the- now you're doing it. I, uh, no, I said double take. Oh, okay. Yeah, double take okay. is is at the conservatory. <laughs> well, that's a double yeah, take. Yeah, I did that. Me good one. <laughs> double takes at Fast Eddie's two to six p.m. on Saturday. Up all night seven thirty to eleven thirty. Okay. Deanne Wolsey Cancer Benefit is going on at the VFW two to six p.m. on Saturday. Rewind at Baker's and Hell from seven to ten Saturday. Amanda Pruitt with Ken E. Keller. Four o'clock at Clifton Terrace and got oh, there. They go. haven't done one in a while. Nice, yeah, good to that, see uh, them. We've having... seen or caught at yeah, least. Trixie go. Delight down at the Pump House on Saturday, and that brings us to our sponsor, Matt Van Voorst. Who wanted us to remind people that Saturday night, David Zimmerman, FTD Benefit, starts at noon with a City Heat, CPRT, Borderline. Two sold-out shows at the VFW for Borderline, by the way. That's yeah. Pretty yeah. awesome. <laughs> we couldn't talk him into a mosh pit, but they did I, line dancing. I, I, so that's so, so two, two sold-out shows is, is great at that. At pretty that, awesome. At that, uh, but I'm still scratching my head on that. 
Facebook post they put out that got 168,000 hits. Billion. I still can't figure out what's going on with that. They know. They That's know, they but they're not out. telling us. Yeah, they will. Joe, you will tell me how you did he it. He will tell us. Know. He loves talking about that. I, I know The Jupiter does. Kings, Doppelganger, where's Dave? Yeah, Dave's with, not here, man. He's with Jake and Eric. Jake is uh, from uh, Black Creek Hollow. Okay. Singer. Jake's mistake. Jake Zimmerman. Okay. Right? That is uh, David's David son. David Zimmerman's son, right? yeah. So Jake and Eric. And then Gabby. Yep. Probably playing at noon, Gabby, I would guess. Backyard Blues Band. Uh, that's uh, Special Ed. And Whiskey River. That's Kenny McPeak. There you go, man. Brought to you by Matt Van Voorst. Not really, but... <laughs> not, not really, but... He will be done. Uh, right. And uh, uh, <laughs> since we mentioned Matt, we have to mention Alpha Music. There Club, you so. go, man. There you go. Also, on Saturday evening, we got Terry Beck going... Three to seven at the Grafton Winery. Janet Evra is at the Wild E Theater. Don't know who Janet Evra is, but uh, playing the Wild E, so probably, you know, on some album somewhere. (laughs) Accidentally on purpose is not doing. Playing the Wild E Theater? Not yet. Not yet. They're they're, they're working their way. If if they ever get the four grand they need for an album. Album release show at the Wild E? Right. We've got big things in the works. Big things in the works. Right. Yeah, and for big, the first I've got time, big things going on. I'm very important. Yeah. They're going to yeah. be the first band to play the Grand Theater. For the first time in oh. like three years, we're actually telling the truth. Oh. The, <laughs> album, the album is coming. You know, you After many years of doing nothing, we're doing things. Yeah. <laughs> Back from a long hiatus. Hopefully, oh. we're going to try and be the first band on the moon. That's nice. <laughs> you guys should talk to Moon Rocket. They might yeah. know something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Get us there. You Are can check them out the Saturday night at the yeah. conservatory. Yeah. Remember they'll, the band they'll, Moon? They'll drive us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Saturday night also we have Dave Horton at the Public uh, Foundry House in Edwardsville. That's 2 to 5 p.m. Sarah Springman Shoemake is at the Stagger Inn again in Edwardsville Saturday 5 to 8 and then I like this name, Scruffy Looking, looking Nerf Herder. Uh, the, the Scruffy Looking yep. Nerf Herder will nice. be at Lyle's Tavern in Maryville going from 7 to 10 p.m. Also known as Bill P. Who's my Nerf Herder? Right. You're my Nerf Herder. How about the other mother's well, brothers? I was saying it was you. <laughs> the other the, mother's the others, brothers. Ah, the other's mother's brothers. There you go. Is that, I wonder, yeah. if, I wonder if that's the uh, our, our boy... Uh, uh, doing the doing the uh, uh, Soul Man bit, right? Or the uh, Blues Brothers bit there, right? Uh, Is that the other other mother mother's brothers? brothers? Yeah, okay. From seven to eleven at the cabin of Judy Creek. I just write down what they say. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I mean, do you expect me to I, know I, something? I, I know that Alfresco Productions will once again yeah. have nine to five. Uh, the nine to five musical going on at twenty forty one Del Mar Beautiful in building. Granite City. Yeah, dear Darla, nine thirty at Patrick's in Granite City and flip side at Tegan's at eight o'clock in Granite City. Scott and Michelle at Pavia's place in Granite City on Saturday and Phase Two back at Deutz for night number two. Hey, you know where you guys? If you ever do get a record out, you know where to take it or send it. Right, you send it to Beyond FM. It's all local, St. Louis radio. Mm. And if you're not listening to Beyond FM, you're not hearing your friends' music that have already found this and are not telling you guys about it. (laughs) But, of course, you don't have an album out yet, so what can they tell you? When's it coming out, guys? Yeah, if I hear Cameron on there, I'm (laughs) going to... Have we ever asked you guys, when's the album coming out? In the last three years? In $2,000, it's coming out. (laughs) Uh, We figured this out. It was in, like... Whenever it was written, I think the first. I think the first time we did an interview, we had two songs written. Okay. Yeah. And Back then, in the they, Fleet, Fleetwood yeah. Mac days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Fleetwood Mac days. We don't have enough songs about a cheating combat. on each other and yeah. doing cocaine. So. Well, you yes. know, you, you just got to yes. get in. You know, the time yes. will come. <laughs> The reason I bring up Beyond oh, FM oh, is they also put on shows, yeah. and they're putting one on at the uh, Miners Theater Saturday night. Nice. Right? Nice spot. How do you say that girl's name? Liliani Kilgory. Okay. I, I'm just guessing. I With the know. Manus Brothers. All right. There's a good one. Yeah. And Shades in Blue. It's a $15 show at Miners Theater in Collinsville. Beautiful place as well. It's been and, restored. Absolutely. And absolutely. there's Beyond FM. Not only are they playing all local music, but they are putting shows together. 
All right, with local music. There Pretty you go. Awesome. Local music. Uh, so Original that, music, I should say. There you go. That is Saturday night up in Collinsville. Also on Saturday night, all of the frog flippers can head to the Prairie Inn in Dorsey because Flip the Frog will be going 5 to 9 p.m. And the Blue Marlin Jumpers all the way to Troy. Yeah. For timeout sports. Now, I, you know, I was actually just in, sitting in front of that place today looking, and on their sign, it said the Rollins Brothers. I didn't see Blue Marlin on well, their sign for this they're week. They're going to have to deal with Scott Marlin, and I would not yeah. want to do that. Yeah, so. He plays Rush on acoustic by oh, himself. Yes. Yeah, you should go check that out. He's in the what a home, Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, he, he, he can pick a git fiddle. Uh, what else we got? Uh, random Gravity, 7 to 11 at the Legion. <laughs> And random came, gravity right all right with bubbles and with uh, bubbles hicktown at uh, st george in carlinville and uh, rock bottom at red fish blue fish in st charles there's your, right. there's your saturday that as as is saturday evening there you go uh man. for the place where the river runs backwards uh so man there you go that's uh that's a, that's quite a bit going on so yep a couple of uh, open mics on sunday one at the stagger in and one down at martin's all right. With uh, Whiskey River down there at Martin's on Sunday. And all the other stuff you can find at uh, cottonmouth.org, including Boom Slang, doing a show from 2 to 6 on Sunday at Prairie Inn, where they bring their golf carts to the show. <laughs> Everybody drives their golf cart. I like it. Safe ride home. Uh, well, you know, safer for sure. That's if your battery's charged. Yeah, so it's there you go. Very slow ride if it's not. And in addition to all the stuff we just said, next Saturday, April 1st, at Pop Saloon, the place where you have no idea the what time it is. The album release party no, from three news. years ago they've been fake talking about. Fake news, still not happening. It's April Fool's. Fake I can do news. some fake news on April Fool's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right. getting ready. blowing there, it off there, until there now. Go. I wanted one fake thing about April Fool's Day. It's not even there yet, man. you got to save Ruined April Fool's Day. holiday. <laughs> uh, April 1st at Pops You can check out Accidentally on Purpose Along with H7 H7 and, and 1781. 1781 And a couple other bands Split 66 and Sack Split 66 yeah. You know yeah. there's some numerology going on in this line oh, yeah. Yes there's lots of numbers it's And then a Sacrifice at the very end Are we end. the only yeah. band No Sacrifice is Sacred and Yeah us we should swap bands, weeks with 86 Red Yeah yeah. So oh right. no, that would have been. No, all that throw the numerology off. It would it would cause something bad to happen if you yeah. threw an eighty six onto that. Because at the end, once you once three. you add them all up, you're going to divide that by three, and that's when you get the magic number. And if you put an eighty six in there, now you got to divide by five. dude. You're, you're throwing the math off, bro. <laughs> we got a hundred and thirty third point and a third chance of winning. <laughs> Listen, you're, so, hey, hey, I'm proud of you. I think so, you're doing great. I got to so, ask Alex. So, how do you know which ticket to sell? I don't. The one that says accidentally <laughs> on purpose on the top oh, yeah. usually goes no. first. Hey. Well, all, all I did is I just shuffled them and then okay. asked people for money. And That's I'm a good way to do it. He sells, it. The, like he sells yeah. the most tickets for whichever band he wants to stay so, in. Does that okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Hey, wait, wait. <laughs> We're not here to influence your decision wait, at all. Wait, does that, that mean, was, <laughs> wait, that, does that, mean that whenever you said that you've sold 20 tickets, does that mean you've sold 20 I never said who tickets? I sold the ticket, like what band. Or, I just said I sold 20 He tickets. shuffles them. I think that is completely fair. Oh, you're just fair. He's throwing the numbers off, isn't he? I, yeah, you're throwing our numbers off I sold nine tickets here. for our band. So hey, at, at this point in time, between both bands, I've sold 35 tickets. Okay. Where are you guys at? Come on. Okay, so you've sold 34 for us and like one for eight. No, eight, no seven, we didn't say right? that. But I sold have nine you... accidentally on purpose tickets. Okay, that's so nine, but that's not 35. See them. see what Alex Zero. is doing? Yeah. I think he's uh, leading uh, here. Uh, again, I'm not sure why he's second chair at this point. Yeah. 35 tickets takes 35 first chair. Nine, I'm dude. all about. Well, it, being me, it's hard, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, sure. <laughs> I would imagine being you is very hard. <laughs> Dude, just watching you is hard. I can't imagine how being you is. The cr being the creative director of X. The, world, oh, yes, of course. the <laughs> world is a cruel place for silly men. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm just saying, Isn't Eastgate's working out better than Schnooks. Uh, That's it really all I'm is. saying. It really is. He's got 35. What do you got, Jacob? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, You're exactly. Right. Exactly. Well, you know, Alex's look, look. bassist has been stealing like all of my primary customers. So, in, yeah. in, in Carter's <laughs> defense, uh, down here, hey, that's what this I'm is not about. Bring up the other. Come to my defense, please. In Carter's defense, people who are going to Schnooks are just trying to 
pay for their grocery bill, and that's hard at $8 a dozen for eggs. But meanwhile, he's down there selling $7 coffees to people. They got Heck, money. Yeah. They got. They could buy a ticket, too. It's like the ticket's cheaper than your coffee. Just Look, I don't, do I don't, I don't want a tip. I just want them you to buy a ticket. In the link in our bio. <laughs> oh, my God. You get there your H7 special uh, drink. the code. A glass of water Accidentally with a ticket, so. on the notice, <laughs> no spaces or capitals. Nice. So, so there's the technical. There's a code. Accidentally on purpose special what, what? is the Moondrop oh. CBD. All right. Here we go. What? One more time. Let's. Let's. That'd be so cool. Let's let Jacob do it one more time. Do it, do it. We can all hear oh, you. Oh yeah, you can also buy tickets if you go to like our Facebook page or our Instagram. You click on the little thing that says Link Tree. Wow. And then at the top of it should be uh, Road to Point Fest tickets. Click on that. Click on the one that says buy a ticket for accidentally on purpose because otherwise that doesn't go towards our sales. Right. So there but you, you go. can put it in the code, right? And then it buy does. Them online. Yep, yeah, I think we have it linked now that if you put in the code, like if you just click the link, the code's already put in. Okay. So you can pick between general admission and accidentally on purpose. But if you're clicking our link, why would you ever get general yeah. admission? Right, right, right. But if you just, have just, to just be so asked, you guys see it happen. If yeah. someone asks for a code, for make sure it's accidentally on purpose. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. no, it's the whole thing, no spaces or capitals. It took me 20 minutes to figure that out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> so there you go. Facebook, accidentally on purpose. Uh, Facebook, you... H7. <laughs> Debatably. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, Debatably man. H7. Come on. All right. If but, it wasn't for H7, you never found Alex. That's true. That's true. That right. is true. That right? is true. Oh, we got the history. No, Go no, back no, no, and no. watch the YouTube no, channel. That's true. <laughs> to be fair, you still have my business card. No, no, no. I have your dad's business card. With my number on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Because anyway. you scratch your dad's number out and put yours on there because you can't afford business will, cards. No, th- that's uh, a that's a whole different uh, lore thing that yeah. we can get so into. They, so there want. you go. That the no, band no, is no, the band. No. no, the band is accidentally on purpose. They are playing April first at Pops. It is the road to Point Fest, trying to win a, a chance to play at Point Fest. We got split sixty six. S- split sixty six. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sacrifice the sacred. H seven. Sacrifice the sacred. H7. H7. And H7. next week's guest, we'll just leave it at that. That there way, you, you know, Your they can plug more guest. next there week. You go. <laughs> so, <laughs> leave them hanging. Uh, big thanks to uh, Jacob Pullen, Violet, Alex, and Carter for coming down. Big thanks to our sponsors, Matt Van Boris. I uh, want you to get out to the Zimmerman, David Zimmerman, uh, uh, up there in Bunker Hill at the Bunker Hill. Yeah. And uh, thanks to Halpin Music Company for sponsoring us and allowing us to come in here and do whatever has just happened for the yeah. past hour because yeah. i'm not quite sure but uh yeah thanks to everybody uh everybody get out there uh get these roads to point uh road to point fest tickets and support local music and art, art.